Alright heroes, welcome back to part two of how to have difficult conversations. And I feel like a dick about it. <sighs> Time for the intro! Alright heroes, welcome to part two. And this is concerning during the conversation. Now, specifically we're gonna talk about putting yourself in the shoes of the person you're gonna to talk to. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the silver rule. Mm. Now everybody's heard of the golden rule, which is treat others how you would want to be treated. Mm. But the silver rule is a little bit different. The silver rule states, treat people how they want to be treated. Uh. So keep in mind that maybe sometimes you are a little more sensitive, but the person you're talking to maybe just wanted direct and straight. Think about their personality first, and then engage them how they want to be treated. Next up, eye level. Make sure you're on the same eye level as the person you're talking to, whether you're sitting or standing, because if you're standing over somebody, that's gonna be intimidating, and it's gonna make the person on the other end defensive. You know, it's like, get on my level, then we can talk as equals. Excellent. The next important thing you should consider when you're talking to someone is, it's not about your words, but how it's interpreted from the other side. For sure. Only 7% of the words you actually use goes into interpretation. The rest of it is non-verbal or voice tone. So think about how your body posture is. Think about your tone of voice. There's a difference between I'm fine and I'm fine, you understand? So think about all these aspects, that nervous tics, they're all gonna give away how you truly feel. So be aware of what you're doing as well as what you're saying. All right, let's discuss I's versus you's in conversation. Mm -hmm. When in conversation, say things like, I feel, I see, instead of saying, you know, multiple you's, because using multiple you's makes the other person feel more defensive. Absolutely. And less receptive to what you're saying. Yeah, you did this. Mm -hmm. I hate you. I can't believe you did this again. This is your fault. Exactly. You know, you want to avoid that. Avoid that as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The next important thing that you got to consider is don't start with a preemptive. Mm. And what I mean by that is, can I talk to you for a second? <gasps> or, I really need to talk to you about something important later. Oh no. Things like that only freaks the other person out, especially if you're not gonna get into it right away. I mean, every husband in America probably has heard the, <laughs> can we talk mm. speech, which always sounds bad regardless if it's not bad at all. Yes. So try a little bit of a different approach. Maybe say, you know, I had some thoughts and, you know, I wanted to get your opinion on it. Something like that. All right. It sounds less threatening and it sounds like more open. All right, so next up, speak directly and calmly. All right, be clear on what the discussion is about. Mm -hmm. State the subject and stay on track, you know. The conversation could possibly derail, but it's very important to stay the course. <laughs> so John McCain shit. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Another really important thing that you should also think about is listening to the person that you're talking to and respond with care. Mm -hmm. So the, what I mean by this is when they're talking to you during the conversation, to not think about what you're going to say next or your comeback for whatever they're going to say. <laughs> because if you're thinking about that, you're not really listening to them at all. And therefore, you're going to miss really important things that they're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get defensive at the same time, shutting down. All right, heroes, thank you for watching. Yeah. Part two of having difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. So which suggestion did you like? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below. If you have anything else to add, we'd like to know as well. Yeah. Also, if you really enjoy our content, uh, be sure to like, uh, comment, <laughs> share, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> 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 sure. the president. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> along with the 50 other Democrats that are running right now. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to hit the notification bell to know when the next video is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and until next time, continue to gain knowledge. Uh, take action. And be, be unstoppable. unstoppable. Woo! Yeah.